Nika trudged across Europa's icy crust, her titanium crampon struggling for purchase. She battled the wind as snow pelted her face shield. Her pack dragged as she approached the massive shape half buried in the ice. Visual confirmation of the anomaly, Nika reported. Approximately 200 meters ahead. Understood, Dr. Yalen replied, his voice distorted by static. Proceed with caution, Nika. Our readings are still scrambled up here. The research vessel Galileo orbited above, tracking Nika's progress across the frozen moon. After months of scanning, they detected an anomaly in Europa's ice. As Nika neared, details emerged through the swirling snow. The object fused organic curves with metallic protrusions in an unsettling mix. Pipes and conduits snaked across it, vanishing into pale, flesh-like material. It was an enormous biomechanical entity. Nika's sensors picked up faint energy signatures. It's active, she reported. Minimal power output, but not inert. Copy that, Yellen responded. Any movement? Negative. It seems dormant. Nika circled the massive form, her helmet cam sending images back to Galileo. The entity measured at least 30 meters across. Its skin, marbled with dark gray and streaked with ice, gave it the appearance of a cyborg sculpture. I'm going to attempt direct contact, Nika announced, approaching a section of exposed hull. Proceed with extreme caution, Yalen warned. We have no idea. His voice cut off as Nika touched the alien surface. Energy surged through her suit, overloading its systems. She stumbled back, momentarily blinded as her HUD flickered and died. When her vision cleared, she found herself staring into an enormous eye. Its pupil contracted as it focused on her. The entity had awakened. Nika forced herself to remain still. Dr. Yalen, do you copy? The entity is active. I'm attempting communication. Only static answered. The entity's energy field seemed to be jamming her long-range communications. She was isolated. The ice trembled as the titan stirred. The moon's icy crust cracked and fell away as the creature lifted itself, revealing more of its bizarre form. What she thought was its body was only a head, large enough to dwarf a small whale. The rest of its form emerged from the ice, a metal-infused cephalopod, appendages thick as redwood trunks. This was not a life form evolved for Europa's environment. It was engineered. The entity's eye pulsed, emitting a beam of coherent light that scanned Nika from head to toe. She stood motionless as the thing analyzed her. The scan ceased. After a long pause, the entity began to change. Its appendages coiled inward, reconfiguring. Panels slid open, revealing complex mechanisms beneath. Before Nika's eyes, the alien entity reconfigured itself into a crude approximation of a human form. A bipedal giant of flesh and machine stood before her, with the massive eye centered in what passed for a head. Nika's suit speakers activated, emitting a series of harmonics and percussive sounds. The sounds shifted, modulating through frequencies, adapting to communicate. Hello, Nika said, maintaining her composure. I am Nika Varis, representing the United Earth Science Council. Can you understand me? The entity's eye pulsed again. When it spoke, the voice that emerged was a synthesized approximation of her own. Greetings, Nika Varis of Earth. I am Archive 7, seed of the predecessors. Nika's curiosity surged, but she remained cautious. Archive 7, why are you here on Europa? The giant tilted its head, an unnervingly human gesture despite its scale. I am a repository of knowledge sent to await those ready to learn. You are the first to awaken me in calculating 2.7 million of your Earth years. The implications stunned Nika. An alien library, frozen Europa's ice for eons, waiting for an advanced species to find it. What kind of knowledge do you contain? 
All kinds, Archive 7 replied. Science, history, art. The collected wisdom of the predecessors spread across the galaxy in hopes that it might survive their passing. What happened to them, Nika asked, anticipating a troubling answer. They evolved beyond the need for physical form, the entity said. But in doing so, they recognized the value of preserving their journey for others. I am one of many archives seated on worlds with the potential for life. Nika considered the implications. The scientific treasure trove before her was beyond imagination, but doubt lingered. How do I know I can trust you? That this isn't some kind of trap? Archive Seven's eye pulsed. A wise question. Trust must be earned. I will share a small fragment of knowledge as a gesture of good faith. A beam of light engulfed Nika, brighter than before, but painless. Information flooded her mind, schematics, formulae, and neural patterns that felt like they were being carefully threaded into her brain, pushing the boundaries of human understanding. When it ended, she gasped. That, Archive 7 said, is the key to manipulating gravitic fields, a small piece of predecessor science freely given. Nika activated her suit's backup comm system with shaking hands. Dr. Yalin, are you receiving? You won't believe this, but we've just made first contact. And it's... it's beyond anything we imagined. Yalin's voice came through, distorted but audible. Nika! Thank God! We lost you for over an hour. What's happening down there? She looked up at Archive 7, its massive form silhouetted against Europa's starry sky. Doctor... Prepare the team for the most important debriefing of their lives. We're about to rewrite every scientific textbook on Earth. Over the next several hours, Nika mediated between Archive 7 and Galileo's crew. The entity answered questions on everything from faster-than-light travel to dark matter. But it was clear that this was only a fraction of the information it held. We cannot simply download all of our knowledge into your civilization systems, Archive 7 explained. The cultural and technological shock would be devastating. As you become ready for each new piece of understanding, I will share it. Nika nodded, understanding the wisdom of the approach. How long would it take to disseminate everything you know? At your current rate of technological progress, Approximately 10,000 of your years. The scope was staggering. Nika felt the weight of responsibility settle onto her. Humanity would need to proceed carefully. As Europa's sun dipped below the horizon, Nika realized her life and the course of human civilization had irrevocably changed. Archive 7, she said, her voice filled with determination. We're ready. The giant inclined its head. Indeed, Nika Varus of Earth. Let's continue. This has been The Ice Beast, an amazing sci-fi story. Thank you for listening.